The Stuart Haas Racing Team has been in a slump for the past few years. The team was once popular when they were winning several races over the course of a season. Last year, the team completed the season without a win. This year, things don't seem to have improved by much. Before we go into the details of why Stuart Haas Racing is not able to perform, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We post the latest news on everything NASCAR. Don't miss out on the action. The Stuart Haas Racing Team was once a championship contending team. One of their best drivers in their history was Kevin Harvick, who won the Cup Series Championship in his first year with the team in 2014. In 2022, the team's performance was seen deteriorating. Although Harvick did manage to get a couple of wins, there was a visible difference in the car's performance. Last year was the team's worst season yet. They were unable to get a single win, but since there were less than 16 race winners, Harvick has scored enough points to make it to the playoffs. After the 2023 season, Harvick decided to call it a career and retire from the sport. Since his retirement, the team has not been able to find results with their driver lineup. This season, once again, the team is yet to win a race. This has left the team doubting their current trajectory in the sport. The team's contract with Ford is coming to an end after this season. There have been talks that the team will not renew its contract with the engine manufacturer. This would leave Stuart Haas Racing with limited options for an engine supplier. There are currently only three manufacturers in the sport, although a fourth one is rumored to be interested in entering NASCAR for next season. The existing three provide the best opportunity for Stuart Haas Racing to find success in the sport once again. Since the design of every single car in NASCAR is similar, engine manufacturers play a huge role in unlocking performance in the sport. Ford has powered the Stuart Haas Racing car since 2017. Although they were strong, the team did not win a Cup Series with Ford. Ever since the Gen 7 cars were introduced in 2022, the team has not been performing the same. There's no doubt that Haas is not able to find the right balance with the Gen 7 cars. Hence, they've been struggling with unlocking the pace of the car. The Gen 7 cars have been designed to generate more downforce. Since NASCAR had planned to introduce the Chicago Street Race, which was integrated in 2023, they needed the cars to generate more downforce in order to corner the tight turns, which are generally non-existent in NASCAR tracks. After the success of the Chicago Street Race, NASCAR has already begun talks with other cities to hold a race as well. In order for the cars to run around these street races, they will need to have more downforce which will effectively bring down the top speed of the car, but will allow drivers to take the corners at a higher speed than the Gen 6 cars. According to the reports, Stuart Haas Racing is looking to scale down their team by selling two of their charters. This indirectly indicates that the team is running out of resources. Given that the Gen 7 cars are cheaper to manufacture, there's no doubt that there will be buyers if Stuart Haas Racing is looking to sell two of their charters. In this case, the team will have to relieve two of their current drivers as well. If the team sells two of their charters, they will be able to focus their attention on only two cars. This could help them develop and unlock performance in their cars and get back to fighting for wins once again. Recently, one of the teams sold their charters for $40 million. Ideally, SHR could stand to earn over $50 million if they sell two of their charters. There are several teams out there who'd be willing to purchase the charters from Stuart Haas Racing. 2311 Racing is one team that is looking to expand their team. Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan started the team in 2021, and so far it has seen little success. The team has won five races so far, but is looking to win more. Despite owning the team, Hamlin does not drive one of his own cars. The 2311 Racing Team's cars are piloted by Tyler Reddick in the number 45 and Bubba Wallace in the number 23. If Haas were to sell two of their charters, they would have to let go of two of their drivers as well. Based on their performance, it would make sense to let go of Barry and Ryan Priest as neither of these drivers have even finished in the top 10 yet. With Briscoe and Gregson and their cars, Stuart Haas Racing will at least stand a chance of bringing back their success. If Stuart Haas Racing is looking to part ways with Ford, they will need to either go back to Chevrolet or look at Toyota for the upcoming season. Ideally, going back to Chevrolet will be the best option as they are leading the manufacturer's championship while Ford is down in the last position. The manufacturer's championship is currently between Chevrolet and Toyota. There's only a two point difference between the two manufacturers, but since Haas already has a history with Chevrolet, they will be the best option for the team. There are also reports that Honda will be coming into NASCAR as an engine manufacturer. The Japanese manufacturer has seen success in other forms of motorsport such as F1, but NASCAR would provide a different type of challenge, considering that the types of power units are completely different when compared to F1. If Honda joins, Stuart Haas Racing could take a gamble by signing with them. As a new manufacturer, their performance will not be guaranteed. Either they could get the base concept right or they could get it completely wrong. 
If they do get it right, we could see Honda engines start to win races from the first season itself. However, if they get it wrong, they might have to wait until the Gen 8 cars to start challenging Toyota and Chevrolet. Stuart Haas Racing might now be willing to wait until the Gen 8 cars to start winning races. Hence, they might be looking to strike a deal with either Chevrolet or Toyota. This could help them get out of the slump they find themselves in. There's also the question of financial support. In the last few years, the team has lost some of their sponsors. They could lose more if they're not able to recover from this slump. None of the sponsors will be interested in a team if there's no brand visibility. Stuart Haas Racing will have to get back to the front of the field if they hope to retain and acquire sponsors. Although the team will be able to get some relief from the sale of their charters, it still may not be enough for them to recover. One of the owners of the team, Gene Haas, has already invested a lot of money into his F1 team. This may have led to his NASCAR team going broke. With investing so much into his F1 team, he may not have much to invest in his NASCAR team which has been more successful. Tony Stewart, on the other hand, is ready to make some major changes in the team if they're not moving in the right direction. When asked about the team's struggles, he said, If Stuart Haas Racing's not having the results we are looking for, we're going to start making some major changes, Stewart said. Everybody knows that. Everybody understands that. It's those guys' jobs at SHR to take what we have and make it better. It doesn't mean we've got to go out and win 8 or 10 races this season, but we need to see the needle move in the right direction. We need to make progress. Understanding the reality of the situation, Tony Stewart expects to see things moving in the right direction, or else they'll be looking to downsize the team and make some changes in the driver lineup. With the team looking to downsize, all of their drivers will be eager to prove themselves to the team and the rest of the teams in NASCAR. Naturally, if Stuart Haas Racing sells two of its charters, it will also have to let go of two of its drivers. As mentioned earlier, Briscoe and Gregson stand a better chance of retaining their seats. However, since neither driver has won a race this season, Barry and Priest will still stand a chance to remain in NASCAR if they're able to qualify for the playoffs this season. Given that none of SHR's cars won a race last year, it would be a huge accomplishment if they do so this year. It would also not make sense for the team to let go of the driver who makes it into the playoffs. Hence, all of their drivers will be eager to win a race in the next 19 races remaining this season. The team will now be heading to the Cookout 400 race in Virginia this weekend. With their future careers on the line, all the Stuart Haas racing drivers will be desperate to win a race soon. But more importantly, the team will have to make a decision regarding their future. If they sell two of their charters, they could focus on just improving the performance of two cars. In addition to this, they will receive some financial boost as they could earn over $50 million from the sales of their charters. If they decide to sell their charters, the team will also have to decide which drivers and crews to maintain in their team. They will also have to decide whether to extend their deal with Ford or go for another manufacturer who has shown more promising results with the Gen 7 cars. What do you think Stuart Haas Racing should do to recover their performance? Post your thoughts in the comment section below.